The Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman, is a legendary creature that is said to inhabit the Himalayan mountains. The Yeti is often described as a large, hairy, ape-like creature that walks on two legs and leaves huge footprints in the snow. The Yeti is one of the most famous cryptids, or animals whose existence is disputed by science. The origin of the word Yeti is unclear, but some scholars suggest that it comes from a Tibetan word meaning bear or rock bear. The term abominable snowman was coined by a British explorer named Charles Howard Berry in 1921, who reported seeing large tracks in the snow that he attributed to a wild hairy man. Since then, many other explorers, mountaineers, and locals have claimed to see or hear the Yeti, or to find evidence of its existence. The Yeti has also become a popular subject of folklore, literature, and media. The Yeti has been featured in many books, movies, cartoons, and video games, often as a fearsome or friendly creature. Some cultures regard the Yeti as a sacred or benevolent being, while others fear it as a dangerous or evil monster. The Yeti has also inspired various scientific and pseudoscientific investigations, such as DNA analysis, footprint analysis, and expeditions to find it. The Yeti remains a mystery that fascinates and intrigues many people around the world. Whether it is a real animal, a myth, or a hoax, the Yeti continues to capture the imagination of those who wonder what secrets lie hidden in the snowy peaks of the Himalayas. The Yeti has been the subject of many encounters and sightings by various people over the years. Some of the most notable ones are. In 1889, Major Lawrence Waddell, a British explorer and scholar, reported seeing large footprints in the snow in northern India that he believed belonged to a wild man of the snows. He described them as having a very neat, round shape and measuring about 9 inches long and 4 inches wide. In 1921, Charles Howard Berry, another British explorer, led an expedition to Mount Everest and found similar tracks on a glacier. He wrote that they were probably made by a large loping grey wolf that had walked on its hind legs. He also heard stories from the local Sherpas about a creature called Mito Kangmi, which he translated as Abominable Snowman. In 1951, Eric Shipton, a renowned mountaineer, took a photograph of a footprint on the Menlung Glacier that became famous as evidence for the Yeti. The footprint was about 13 inches long and had a distinct thumb-like feature. Shipton said he followed the tracks for about a mile but did not see the creature that made them. In 1954, John Angelo Jackson, an adventurer and hunter, claimed to have seen two Yetis near the Barun Valley in Nepal. He described them as half man and half beast and said they had reddish-brown fur and walked upright. He also said they made a whistling sound and threw rocks at him. In 1959, Sir Edmund Hillary, the first person to reach the summit of Mount Everest, led an expedition to search for the Yeti. He collected various samples of hair, bones, and skin that were said to belong to the Yeti, but they turned out to be from bears or other animals. He also examined a supposed Yeti scalp at a monastery in Kamjung and concluded that it was made from the skin of a Saro, a goat-like animal. In 1970, Don Willens, a British climber, said he witnessed a Yeti while camping at Annapurna base camp. He said he saw a dark figure moving on a nearby ridge and heard some cries that sounded like a cross between the bark of a dog and the mew of a cat. He also found some footprints that matched those of Shipton's photograph. In 1986, Reinhold Messner, a famous Italian mountaineer who had climbed all 14 peaks above 8,000 meters, claimed to have encountered a Yeti in Tibet. He said he saw a large creature with black hair and a human-like face that ran away on two legs. He later wrote a book called My Quest for the Yeti in which he suggested that the Yeti was actually a rare type of bear that could walk upright. In 2007, Josh Gates, an American television host and adventurer, claimed to have found some hair samples in Bhutan that were analyzed by DNA experts and found to be from an unknown species. He said he also saw some footprints and heard some strange noises during his expedition. However, his findings were met with skepticism by other scientists who questioned his methods and motives. These are just some of the many reported encounters with the Yeti from past to present. The evidence for the Yeti's existence is mostly based on eyewitness accounts, footprints, and folklore. There is no conclusive proof that such a creature exists or ever existed. However, there is also no definitive proof that it does not exist or never existed. The Yeti has been a subject of scientific interest and debate for decades. Many researchers have tried to identify the biological origin and nature of the Yeti, 
using various methods such as DNA analysis, fossil evidence, and comparative anatomy. Some of the possible candidates for the Yeti are a bear. Some scientists have suggested that the Yeti is actually a bear, either a known species or a hybrid of different species. For example, a 2017 study by Charlotte Lindqvist and colleagues analyzed DNA samples from alleged Yeti specimens and found that they matched with brown bears and Himalayan black bears. Similarly, Reinhold Messner, who claimed to have seen a Yeti in 1986, later concluded that it was a rare type of bear that could walk upright. Bears are known to leave large footprints in the snow and have a similar body shape to the Yeti. A primate, some scientists have proposed that the Yeti is a primate, either a surviving relic of an ancient hominid or a new species of ape. For example, Bernard Heuvelmans, a Belgian zoologist and cryptozoologist, argued that the Yeti was a descendant of Gigantopithecus, a giant extinct ape that lived in Asia until about 300,000 years ago. Heuvelmans based his theory on fossil evidence and eyewitness accounts of the Yeti's behavior and appearance. Primates are known to have human-like features and intelligence, which could explain some of the Yeti's characteristics. A hoax. Some scientists have dismissed the Yeti as a hoax, either a deliberate fabrication or a misidentification of natural phenomena. For example, Sir Edmund Hillary, who led an expedition to search for the Yeti in 1959, found that most of the evidence for the Yeti was either fake or inconclusive. He also debunked some of the alleged Yeti relics, such as scalps and bones, as being from other animals. Hoaxes could be motivated by various reasons, such as fame, money, or cultural beliefs. The Yeti remains an unresolved mystery that challenges our understanding of nature and ourselves. Is it a real animal or a myth? Is it a friend or a foe? Is it a relic of the past or a harbinger of the future? The Yeti reflects our curiosity and imagination, as well as our fears and hopes. The Yeti also represents our connection and respect for the natural world, especially the fragile and remote ecosystems of the Himalayas. The Yeti may or may not exist, but it certainly lives in our minds and hearts. And all that. It's the story right now. Thank you for joining us and listening. Please press subscribe and press the notification bell when there's something new. We'll come to sit around the circle and listen to each other again. For today. Have a good day to you. See you then.